Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given f of z and we have to prove this expression. Let's take the f of z again. So f of z is u plus i v. Modulus of f of z will become root of u square plus v square. Now coming to LHS part, we have dou by dou x of root of u square plus v square and we have whole square plus dou by dou y of root of u square plus v square whole square. Now this derivative with respect to x will be 1 by 2 root of u square plus v square and u square derivative is 2u ux plus v square derivative is 2v vx. So here the first part is partial derivative with respect to x and we have to put whole square in the same way the second part is partial derivative with respect to y. So 1 by 2 root of u square plus v square into 2u uy plus 2v vy and we close the bracket now in the numerator and we also have a square and in the numerator we can take two common so it is u u x plus v v x whole division 2 into root of u square plus v square and whole square plus again 2 is common so u u y plus v v y whole division 2 root of u square plus v square whole square. Now we can cancel this 2 and 2, this 2 and 2 and we also have a whole square. So let us write u u x plus v v x whole square by u square plus v square because with v square I have taken the square for both numerator and denominator separately. Here it is u u y plus v v y whole division and we have a separate square for numerator and denominator. We have a common denominator so we can make a common denominator at the same time we can also use CR equations where u x is replaced as v y and u y is replaced as minus v x. So here it is u u x plus v v x whole square is written as it is plus u into minus v x plus v into u x whole square. Now whole division we have u square plus v square. When I expand this using a plus b whole square, it is u square u x square plus 2 u v u x v x 2 a b term plus b square term is v square v x square and here this is a and minus b. So a minus b form. So v square u x square minus 2 u v u x v x plus v square u x square now whole division u square plus v square and here we can cancel these two terms then we can take common u x square from these two terms so we get u square plus v square and again plus when and here this term is actually this term is actually square of b so we have to correct this So it is actually u square v x square. So when I 
take v x square common, remaining will be u square plus v square. Then whole division, we have u square plus v square. And from the numerator, it is possible to take u square plus v square common. Then this will be u x square plus v x square whole division u square plus v square. Now we can cancel this. So the remaining is only u x square plus v x square. This is nothing but when we have f of z as root of that is modulus sorry without the modulus u plus i v f dash of z will be u x plus i v x when I find modulus of this f dash of z it is root of u x square plus v x square but we have without the square root it means this is let's write it here it is f dash of z modulus whole square so we took the lhs and we got the rhs mod f dash of z whole square which is equal to rhs hence proof